So I just went on a walk, put up more feeders, and I just saw Osuzume. Why are they being so elusive? There he is, right there. So, this time he went this way. They're not feeding. They're checking it out, but they're not feeding. They're more interested in the tree. You see him? Osuzume, this tree here, All right, I'm gonna go get some chicken. So once you have uh, giant hornets um, coming to a location, a feeder or whatever, then what you wanna do is entice it with some chicken. So I'm visiting your local grocery store to get some chicken. All right. around here. This would all be done by local farmers. This is, uh, they drop their, their foods off. Little mushrooms. Look at the variety of mushrooms. I've always liked to see what they're selling. And this is what I'm looking for here. Maybe there's honey. I see jam. I see no honey. This is how expensive wood is now. Five dollars for one bundle of wood. So every, that would probably last a couple hours. It's expensive. So hornets really love chicken breast. So, and the cool thing is that chicken breast in Japan is the cheapest thing you can buy when it comes to meat. So, I'm off to find the chicken breast. Here's all the sushi. Oh, mmm, fish. Here's the wagyu steak. Always got stuff. That is not a bad price. Um, 700 yen for that is really nice. I think I'm gonna have to barbecue a little steak. I think so. 730 yen, that's a nice little lunch there. I'm gonna pick up the bigger one. Maybe I just eat it raw. The same steak, but when they cut it up, they increase the value. So here's the chicken. Usually this is the cheapest. Well, it's 138 per, usually it's cheaper than that. That's all I need, like right here. And they're charging 147. So sometimes the smaller it is. This is see this is 88. See 88 yen right here. 88 yen per gram. I guess I could eat that too for lunch. What I don't use. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna go with this. It's the perfect size to tie onto a stick. And um, yeah, I don't have to cut it. And then I'm gonna eat the rest. The other thing I always love to look at is the milk. And look at this here, see, this is 65 degrees, which means it's, this milk is actually is a long-term pasteurized. This is probably really nice milk. It's new. For English, it even has English on this side here. Okay, North Alps pasteurization, slow, um, slow milk. I love milk, so I'm going to get this too to try it. This is the milk that I usually get in Japan. It's uh, nice, so you can see it's actually not that expensive. Oh my god, that is some good milk. It's not like the crap we get in the States, the Publix, or you know, which is now we just have one brand. And, you know, it's, in, it, it's basically at the end of its shelf life. You know, this has an expiration date right on it. But to be honest, it would not expire that day. Um, just like the states they have an expiration date, but they based on the expiration date based on when they put it in the bottle, right? So the expiration date has to go on when it goes in the bottle. This came out fresh. It's in there fresh. Yeah, hey, bait. <laughs> Guy Jean. And. Um, Ah, oh, it's just, I can't, it's, it just, it's good. Mm. So that's a great view of 
the challenge that we have to deal with. There's old Susan Man living up in those mountains there, and that's the threat that I'm trying to mitigate against, or at least uh, bring down. Um, and there's no housing or anything up there, no ski resort, no nothing. That's just wild. So I found the uh, hornet's nest near, uh, and it's a huge one. Challenge is, how am I get up there? So the idea is this is a seven meter actually ladder. So I should be able to reach it. And up there is the hive, which you can't see really well. So I'm gonna actually use my belt to tie it off. Now I gotta be on this side. I don't know if you see it right up there. Huge hive. It's kind of as big as it gets. I can help from the neighbors who finally got the ladder up. But it's still quite a way, so I'm gonna have to knock it down, even from here. You can see the ladder ends right there, but the hive is way up there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten down the ladder, and then we'll have to knock it down. Yeah. Stick. Tentapol, what do you call Tentapol, yeah. Hi, okay. All right. There's a father and son helping me. Namai nan desu ka? Nakagame. Nakagame san. And. Musko. Musko. Saisho removal. First time, ne? <laughs> oh, okay. So I got the hive down. I had video on my, um, on my um, Sony camera. I couldn't really hold this in videotape, so I will be putting that up. The whole removal up there was just crazy. And the suckers got me three times twice on my belly, one on my elbow. It's unbelievable, you know, and I'm wearing my protective suit and everything and if they can sting me, and it's just the numbers, you know, you've got a thousand hornets, the probability of getting stung goes up exponentially. you got 50 hornets, right, or a hundred versus a thousand, so that's why yellows are so dangerous, even with proper gear on and everything else. I got stung on my elbow because when I bend my elbow, the, um, the mesh basically um, uh, tightens, right? And it doesn't protect me. So you got to wear really, really loose clothes and then everything's throbbing and I got twice on my belly and that's throbbing. So it's not nice getting stung. Little suckers. So another guy, whilst I was doing a remo doing removal, stopped by and said, hey, I've got a hive. So I'm going to go look. So he doesn't know what kind it is. Maybe it's old Suzume in his house. Maybe it's Kiro. I don't know. We'll follow him. So they see a remover. Any good eye, like when you could do it, do it today. That's what it means. Cool. So this is up actually near uh, another one, Jeff's house. So get this one out, that'd be good too. Yeah. All right. This is the other hive I was hunting because the hornets were flying in this direction. And I didn't go down this road to check these houses. Ah. Huh? Oh, Okay, <laughs> so there's another huge one up there and uh, it's actually company's gonna come and remove it so that's good so that's the other one and that one there is feeding Nande. <laughs> why my camera messed up. All right, so got the nest down. I'm gonna go show you what's left over here. For some reason, my outer camera is out of focus. It's screwed up, and my other camera should be down here somewhere. Let's look for my.
I have to find my my Sony camera. Where is it? It would have fallen somewhere in this area. Uh, big. There is the hive. All right. これは新しいぞ。父さん。This here。これぞ。Next year 新しいぞ。ね。へえ。これぞ。新しい。新しい女王。New queen。ああ。ね。そうなんだ。うん。I have her wing. Hey. She is a virgin. Mm. Ne? No boy. So, I'm going to go to the pet bottle. You can put your head on. Mm. Head on. Well, I have the suit. I saw the suit if you want to look. Put your head on. Yeah, that's right. The suit is not right. The suit is not right. Okay. Put your head on, Tosan. Imite. Coco. Sir. Ipai Kodom. Here. 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 Queen. Ne, atarashi zo. Kore. Pet bottle. Oide. Pet bottle. You can see the stinger. The stinger on her. Zo. 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 Oh, 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 oh,
。お。So this guy's gonna eat it. But I'm a tokonoko. Kura atarachi zo. So, so, so. Atarachi zo. Hi, abenai yo. Abenai. Abenai. Hi, ah. Tubusha to be now. Ani kore. Ne, mite. Sugoi. Nande. Nande. Hm. Machiwanga zo hai tu. Ne. これみんな潰さないさ刺すからねこれうん捨てる、うん、はい、はいはいはい、はいどうぞ刺すからさ、はい、すごい<笑> He's gonna eat him. ラッキーねラッキーデイ一万<笑><笑>危ない危ない刺すよ刺すあ刺す捨てる刺すよ